Oh my goodness, Bob, we're going on tour. This is so exciting. Listen, y'all, tickets are available right this very second. Help us yes, sell this tour out. Help us go bananas. So the next time y'all see us, we'll be at Madison Square Garden, Haney. <laughs> Hello, let me tell you something. This is the biggest tour Bob and I are doing. It's going to be great. Lights, camera, action, dancers, podcast, everything you want in a Bob and Monet show, you're going to get. So make sure you get your tickets at bobandmonet.com. Oh, and there's also going to be brand new music. Ooh. All right, bobandmonet.com. Is lost somewhere. I um, landed at in Las Vegas Airport, and um, when I landed, the bags did not had landed. Right. I flew and landed, but the bags were like, we're, "No, we're good in LA. We actually don't want to go to Vegas." Did you? Did you? Get, did you get to Vegas? Did, did you get to the airport before your cut? Like after your cutoff? No, but. Um, Miss Delta Terminal Three was going through. So when we got there, you know when you get to the um the baggage claim and the little belt is going. The baggage the, claim. The belt, what? In no, Vegas. sorry. When, no, 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 sorry. Scratch that. Baggage drop off. Uh huh. So you, you you give the you give the the people your bag, mm -hmm. and then the bags go on the belt. Well, the belt went belting. Okay, uh, so all so the bags scrum. were just sitting. Yeah, exactly. All the bags were just sitting down. None of the bags were going anywhere. And I said, I don't think our bags going to make it on this plane because the belt was broken and that little <laughs> was constantly meaning like someone had hit the emergency buzzer button. So none of the gates, none of the airlines had their bags going through. And I was the last, and we were the last ones to make the cutoff. It was one of those crazy days um, where the line oh. was just like down. What? Wow. See, Vegas, Bob did it. See, Bob don't love y'all. If Bob really loved y'all in Vegas, he would have got to the airport with enough time to ensure that his bags got to Vegas. Y'all are witnessing a no. true queen who is not for the people. Anyway, it was one of those days when you get to the airport, because it's back issue, the line was out the door, down the block, going into the next oh, terminal. No. It was really wild. It was really wild because the belt was broken, so none of the bags were going. It was a really, really wild day. And for me, and I, I tried to pull a little sneaky move. Oh, did you did, did you, you try to throw around your, uh, your celebrity status? So I was like, I was like, all right, Kennedy, I'm gonna go into the to the Diamond Loud, the little Delta uh, Delta One, one area, mm -hmm. and and see if there's any gays in there, and I'm gonna see if I can like, you know, charm them. So I walked in and that. I saw a gay, and I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, there's a gay. I got this. And I walked up and I took my mask off, and I was like, oh, it's so warm. <laughs> and then I put my mask back on, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I know this is um. Only for Delta One, but like, is there any chance I could just check in here real quick? He said, "No, nigga." And he looked at me. He was, like, and he was like, "No, no, no." He was he was completely in there, but he was like, "Um," but he wasn't the gate guy. The, he wasn't the guy at the thing. He was just the one who like welcomes you into the lounge. He was uh, like, "Do you want some water, nigga?" So I was like, "I was like, okay." He goes, "Well, you have to ask the the the, the ticket agents." And I was like, and it was some straight butch, ain't never seen a gay. Don't support Pride Month looking motherfucker. <laughs> and then I was like, ugh. So I went over to him and he was like, you know. And the gay guy was like, S -s -s -s. and then as I left the gay guy, I was like, sorry. I wish I could help. Sorry. <laughs> He's like, but can I have a picture? I'm like, no. I was like, no, nigga. You can Just have your bag. <laughs> you can have and me, I'm here in New York, so I want to apologize to everyone listening to this video and also watching it. I am in New York City, and I transferred like three different hotels, and I had to leave and come back. And somewhere, my bag with all my podcasting stuff has disappeared, which is a lot of money and stuff. I have no idea where it is. I've called the hotel we were at. I've called everything. No one knows what his bag is. I have no idea. So I am ball-headed, confused, bewildered, and shattered here with my fucking Beats Pro, my fucking 480p camera. And I am tired. I, I am on the verge of tears. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh no. Not one of these. Not one of these podcasts. 
Don't now. I want to point out Monet's laughing before I'm laughing. <laughs> if Monet starts crying, I want to point out she started laughing before I started. I'm not even laughing, nigga. This shit ain't funny. I'm just so upset. I love all my body. I, I don't know where any of it is. I'm so annoyed. Uh, anyway, that's Monet, what it's about. Okay, can I before we get started? I want to bring up something. I don't oh, know how to God. mention. That. What? You don't even know what to say. <laughs> because anytime you start something like that, I know something that's gonna get on my nerves. What? I just want to make sure you're getting rest because there have been some comments <laughs> on our podcast lately. They've been like, damn, Monet is tired. And I want to make sure you're getting rest and the love you need and uh, hugs when you uh, need okay, them. Okay, okay. So now, so, so now you want to pay attention to the comments. When any, any of the other comments are like, Bob and Monet, you're like, y'all need to mind your fucking business. Shut the fuck up. But now they said, I look a little tired. You're like, Monet, I want to make sure you get what you need. So now, now the comments matter. Got it. Well, when the comments are being shady, this is not a shady <laughs> thing. When, when the comments are like, Bob bullies Monet. Mo- Monet gets what she deserves. No, the other ones they're like, um, are they okay? Civil rivalry is really on. Like, like Bob and Monet are oh, always I arguing. Told you I, I told you I hate those no- those comments. Those comments are so annoying. When, when the comments are like, honestly, they need a break from each other. They clearly can't stand each other. This is wild. I don't even like guys. They clearly don't. <laughs> they, they don't talk outside of the, sh- the podcast. They're not real friends. And honestly, they're toxic for each other. Like nigga, y'all shut the fuck up. But I am, but you you just told me you're on the verge of tears. That's so yeah, I am concerned about your your no, uh, your well, mental well being. Because my, my and I also just bought this like new mic that I was really excited to use. So like all of that, I'm like, oh, I just spent so much money on this like new mic stuff. I'm so annoyed. Well, I just that's just me expressing how much I love you. Should we, should we start reviewing the? Oh, should yeah. we start reviewing the episode? Yeah, yeah, niggas. Let's man. start reviewing. Let's start reviewing the episode, nigga. Yeah. Also, also, there, I just snapped on someone on uh, on our Patreon. I'm not gonna lie. Why? Can you stop? What? Hold on. Let me say something. The Patreon stop, stop snapping on the patrons. They they're the reason that you have a place to live. Okay, stop snapping on the patrons. Ew, not you're one of them. That's the, the most. <laughs> that's the grossest. <laughs> not 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 you're right. You'd be nothing without your fans, bitch. That is the. the uh, Anyway, this guy was like, I want to find the comment because it was so wild. And I, I, all I could respond was, nigga, shut the fuck up. The comment was like, um, has anyone noticed that, Bo- oh my God, I, I will find it. I will find it. But it was really a wild comment. And I was like, know, I, there, you know what? I'm just going to have to, what? The one patron, the one patron what, what? experience I will never forget. The one patron that still cracks me to this day. I just talked about this one the other day. <laughs> when we had um, the the black the black fishing conversation about um, the fucking Raven, and Cersos got so mad that you and I didn't think Raven was black fishing. He canceled his subscription. He fucking put a pox on our house. He said, "I am done with these two clown ass black drag queens," and he wasn't even black. That I that will never. That shit is so funny to me still to this day. Okay, I can't find it, but basically the, the comment. I think they deleted the comment because I because I stabbed him. The comment was like, honestly. Bob, like, this is so ridiculous that Bob is forcing us to watch season eight and can't let Monet have a moment to shine. Like, it's clear that Bob didn't want to review All Star 7 and is really jealous and is literally forcing us all to watch season eight. And I was like, nigga, shut the fuck up. I think that was an iTunes comment, not a Patreon comment. Well, I know this guy was making the rounds because I saw it on the Patreon. And I remember, and I remember mm-hmm. being like, on Patreon? I remember being like on the Patreon, honey. Anyway, but he deleted. I will it. say this. I will say this. I didn't necessarily want to review season eight, but here we are. That's all. That's that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, we can stop. We can. We don't. We can stop right now. We don't have to review this episode. Well, bitch, I already watched. Do you want? It, so do the you want to stop? We are, the fuck we are. I already watched it, no, so we are gonna review it. No, no, we, no. We 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 can we can we can, we can skip. But we can skip. No, you want to lie and pretend. We we we're done. So today's our last one. Is today our last one? Okay. Okay. Super. <laughs> since you faking, since you faking as hell, today we're done. Okay. Let's ask the fans what they want. No, 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 no. 
Monet's faking as hell and said that she never wanted to, she didn't want to review the episode of the season. So you know what? We're done. Monet, All I was saying acting is like I forced I her to do this shit. my business and then someone said, oh, she was season eight. And then here we are. That's all I'm saying. Y'all do that information what you will. That's all that, that, that that's my experience. Okay. Well, we should probably start reviewing. This. And now all of a sudden, Monet is <laughs> acting like she's been like, Oh, Bob makes me like I'm the one calling all the shots at Sylvan Rivalry Incorporated. Not, so what? You, are, you, are you? Are you? Are you? <clears throat> you're not calling the shots, but sometimes but, you know but we you let what each I said. other. But you we, did what we, I said. We we, 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 we we let each other like like example for some pot, some episodes of Rivalry. I'll be like, oh, let's do this, and we do it. And for some seasons of Watchery, Bob was like, let's do this. I'm like, sure. Like we this is this we we give and take. We ebb and flow. We. We, we we work together. Monet, I'm not engaging your lies. Start the fucking episode, bitch. I'm not engaging your <laughs> shit as a lie. Start the fucking episode. It's the motherfucking truth, nigga. Anyway, so this is... Um, ep- I, yeah, I, bu- <laughs> I bullied you into watching up season eight. I bullied you. <laughs> I didn't say bitch, that. Those are your words, episode. not mine. Um, so we bitch, are start the fucking taking, episode. Uh, we are getting on to episode four of season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race. And um, last episode, Bob won the challenge. If you guys uh, haven't, if you're for whatever, you're jumping in right now. Bob won last challenge, the acting challenge. And right at the top. Um, <laughs> Deservedly so, by the way. Deservedly you, so. You did a great job. You you did a great job, Roberta. Uh, right at the top of the episode, Derek Berry d- d- dives nose nose first into um explaining um well you and Derek have this tiff about the soul he's like well I guess I need to come and have soul he's like I need to I need to learn how to booga sugar wooga looga and you're like Derek she's saying you to have soul not I was like this is so not problematic act black. <laughs> it it was it was very problematic and I, I I obviously spoke to Derek about it in the moment and I was like, Derek, I think I remember the words I said were like, Derek, she said, just like, we want you to have more solo personality, not act black. That's not what she said. She didn't say twerk and act yeah. like a black person. Yeah. And then Derek started to try which, to like, which, go ahead. But it, was, it, was, it was a very, it was a very uncomfortable situation. I was like, this is, this feels very strange right now. <laughs> Well, also, I mean, I don't know where Derek is from, but Derek seems. But I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at it from a white person's point of view. It's, it's someone, but I guess no. It's just, just, just brains, bitch. She obviously would not tell you to act black. I mean, it's, so yeah, I think Derek is just really, or maybe Derek was just trying to lean into the funny of it all. Yeah, maybe Derek was just making a joke, and I didn't take the joke very well at the time, and I was like, I don't think it's just funny. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot this that was Naomi a very had those ornery episode brows. for me. Oh there yeah, Naomi dyed her brows bleach blonde for the entire season, and um, she looked like Pidgeotto. I always forget <laughs> that Naomi during season eight of Drag Race looked like Pidgeotto. I'm telling y'all, you don't until until you put them side by side. This is Pidgeotto now. Feel old yet? It's 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 giving very very that very that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was really all the drama to fall out. It just everyone, and then but even Acid chimed in. Acid was like, "Yeah, no, like I, I'm not acting black. I just have soul." And then and Naomi was like, "You need to." Everyone is basically saying kimchi too. They're like, "Derek, you need to figure out who you are," because this is when he was really getting into the thick of everyone is like, "You keep on being Britney Spears, bitch. Who are you for real?" Well, which I don't think, which I don't think in and of itself is a fair. Um, uh, like saying that a, a, an impersonator isn't themselves because they impersonate someone else is because Derek does, Derek doesn't act like Britney Spears in the workroom. Derek doesn't act like Britney Spears on on uh, you know in in um interviews and and critiques and stuff. Derek acts like Derek. I'll say that. Um, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know what does the like give us show us your personality. What what if because Drag Race often says like show us your personality. What if that is your personality? What if your personality is that you're just shy? What if your personality is that you don't talk a lot? What if that is your personality? I mean, if it is, you know? I mean that 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 that's fair. But I think for Derek, it's like you know, to be like a a strong contender, they want to have someone. Who, I mean, you're. I, I mean, I guess then why cast a Derek a Britney Spears in person? Right to 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 your point. Well, that's. 
That's not a note that Chad that Chad Michaels ever got. I don't, I don't remember Chad Michaels. They bring that, that up. Maybe I have to go back and see that. No, but that, 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 you brought that up. Michelle talked about that later in the episode. Yeah, Chad did share, but Chad also did have like a variety of other tools in his tool belt to play with, not mm-hmm. just only the share thing. But also, Chad Michaels is just a great fucking drag queen. But you go back and watch season four and All Stars 1, Chad Michaels is great. Fucking brilliant. Brilliant drag. What about Derek Barry? What about Derek Barry? <laughs> Derek Barry is great too, but Derek, I know she just no shade to Derek Barry. Derek Barry and Chad Michael Drag are, are completely different things. Drag, I mean, Chad has like an, an assortment of things. Derek Barry has like a few things that he does very well that we all lo- know and love Derek for. Well, Derek's learned a lot since season eight. We've all learned a lot. It was this was True. we filmed this seven years yeah. ago, so you know Derek's learned. Yeah. And, and also, Chad Michaels is uh, further along in his career than uh, right. Derek Barry, the princess yes, from Las Vegas, is much is, older you know? than Derek. Yeah, I forgot um, how much drama there is in this in this episode. I forgot like this is this was a drama. For you me. are wild. You are on one. I said I don't know who fucking pissed in his coffee, girl. You are on one this episode. Everybody was, was getting from Bob. I was Orgy, saying, Lucia Biani, uh, a Lord RuPaul. You were coming for. It. I was like, oh my god, what is wrong with her? I was standing up for myself. I was standing up for myself, and I'm and I'm still I'm very proud of myself for standing up for myself. Bob, wow, there's a difference between standing up for yourself and being just a, a, a nasty whore. I wasn't being a nasty whore, you know. Strong women have often been called things like this. In <laughs> history, so Please. <laughs> I'm sure someone at some point called Joan of Arc a nasty whore. I'm oh sure when Joan of Arc was fighting for her country at some point, right when she was burned at the stake, someone yelled, nasty whore. You're so ridiculous. Anyway, this episode, I will say, I okay, one of my favorite challenges in Draggers are the ones where the queens sing live. Season 8, they did it with this one. I can't remember which, which one's before, but season 10 was the last one we did it with, with Cher the Rusical. Cher was, Ru, the Rusical was the last challenge that we sang live. And they have not done no. it since then. Yes. Yes. No, yeah. uh, no, no, no. People saying during um, um, Shay's uh, All Star season, um, uh, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, la- 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 love. I don't remember that. You remember I'm in love? It was no. the it was the I'm in love with Jason Momoa. I'm in love with Daddy Yankee. I'm in love with um, Chadwick Boseman. It was it was anyway. They, they sang they sang in, the, in that All Stars. <laughs> oh, they did. It was called I'm in Love. Yeah. Okay. Well, I love the live singing challenges because it adds another layer, right? Yeah, you can a lot of the times now the girls we we you for a challenge, you're going you record your vocals and then, you know, they they produce it and that's what you hear. But the challenge where you have sing live, they're great. And this one I really love. Y'all because Monet, this week you matter. sang live in um Everybody Say Love. No Everybody That was not live. Everybody that was Say recorded. Love. That was pre-recorded. That was not live. Oh no, you're right because they also didn't sing live in that one either. They were just singing to their own voices, so they went, recorded their voices, yeah. sang, and then right. lip synced to their voices. You're right. That's what you meant. That's what you meant. I thought you meant like, sing. yeah, yeah. So I guess yeah, we did actually sing on the spot. We did that not was record great. that. I, I love you know, it. We had, yeah, we had we had live microphones. We did do live in um, season in uh, UK work which one well anyway I, I mean i don't know but i believe you but anyway it, it i enjoy singing live very much it was very very fun yeah so and for this one rupaul lets y'all choose your own groups and so the chick uh well no, i'm gonna say that um um kim robbie and naomi get together and then the three new york girls get together yes. and y'all leave the derek yep. <laughs> chi chi and nation the leftovers <laughs> they should have called themselves the leftovers. That would have been a great name. <laughs> well, yeah, the, I mean, so obviously the New Yorkers all wanted to be together, and I don't know what it was about. But I mean, why Kim would you want to work with you, Okay, this I, I was confused. A, Thorgy was B, you and Thorgy have this thing, right? Thor, like, Thorgy clearly had this thing with you. And then you've seen how Acid Betty works in groups. So why would you want to work with Thorgy and Acid, two people that for for, for from to this point have been seemed to be hard to work with? Because so here's the thing, y'all think that me and Thorgy had this rivalry during um, Drag Race. When we were there, you'll notice anytime they ask me about Thorgy, 
I'm saying nice stuff. I'm like, Thorgy's my best friend here. Thorgy's my oldest drag friend. I love Thorgy. They interview Thorgy, and she goes, Bob's so annoying. Bob won't shut up. I can't stand Bob. <laughs> I did not know Thorgy was saying this shit until I got home and was watching it on TV. Bitch, I was blown the fuck away. I thought we were, I thought they're just in her interviews being like, Bob is amazing. We've worked together for years. I've known Bob, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, imagine, imagine my shock. Imagine <laughs> my shock. And I wanted Betty because I know that, because I know that Betty can dance, can sing and dance. Betty's very good at singing and dancing. So well, what if Betty would have done her old trickery and been like, been fucking acid, acid petty? Then what? But no one in our, but only other person that could sing and dance that well was Chi Chi. Of our host and Thorgy. Thorgy and Chi Chi, no one else. You know what I mean? And we have the New York City thing going. So I was like, and honestly, I stand by that group. We were great. Our performance was great. As soon as we were rehearsing, to be, I'm not going to lie to you. I think we, I think we did the best. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm, well, we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll um, get there. Oh my God. Anyway, so, and right off the bat, New York City, Team New York City is being so extra. So, you, so RuPaul also lets y'all just, y'all had three groups. There was, there was punk, synth, and it was party. And then, so RuPaul lets y'all decide amongst yourself. And then, so the, the chicken wings, which is um, Naomi's group, they're like, we want to do lay, party. No, lay uh, chicken pop. wings. Lay chicken oh. wings. Le Chicken Wings, which is French for the. Anyway, so Le Chicken Wings, they choose uh, punk, so that's uh, that's not the bag. But unless it's party and scent. So your team and Chi Chi's team are trying to divide. And here goes Bob with his, with all his little subterfuge. Bob was like, okay. Um, <laughs> Bob said, I think we should go to the riot and let everyone in our group say what they want. So everyone in New York City says well, party. Well, let me tell you why I said and that. Then, the reason why I said that was because I noticed that... that, that um, we were all on the same page. I noticed what happened. I was like, oh, we all we all want we all want party. And then Chi Chi was the only one on their team who didn't want. She was like, I actually want synth. And I was like, oh, this is about to be this is about to be a walk in the park. Because y'all not even on the same page, honey. Oh, I was like, watch, watch me work my magic, honey. So then I say, here's what will happen. Let's all just go down the line and say what we want. Thorgy, what do you want? Party. Um, Betty, party, party. Okay, we all want party. Okay. How about y'all? Um, and then I was like, Derek, there goes party. Nasha, party. I said, Chi Chi, what do you want? She goes, I want synth. And I was like, Yeah, mm. no, I'm like, it sounds like you guys oh aren't my even. God. Mm. If I was Nasha or Derek, I'd have been and like, okay, I... just because she doesn't want it, that's, I still want that. So that's not fair. Money, you are the queen of giving up your position real quick. You are, do not, you no, when do you, not when a drag you race. that hard ever on Drag Race? Not on Drag Race. When did you? When did you ever fight? When did you ever fight that hard on Drag Race for a role or for a, or a, a, a thing or something? At the crafty table, I was, I was fighting for my roles, bitch. <laughs> so I was like, we went. So then I remember. I this is this famous moment where I picked up the party thing and the P and the Y had fallen off. I just we were <laughs> we were tugging over to whoever the P and the Y fell off. So I said, bitch, we are art, and I picked it up. And then of course he said the art. <laughs> Art, 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 art. Ooh, shikakak, 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 art. Did, did somebody mention art? And then, of course, uh, Dear Bray goes, well, if that's, their, if that's their song, then that sucks. Uh, um, but that was that, that was the birthing of um, of Street Meats. So instead of using that, and then and then the other, and then um, Nature's group, they, they, they're, they're going to do shapes, whatever. And Betty is like, egg, she's like egging them on. She's like, well, I think Derek is going to look stupid um, being a square. I'm like, leave these fucking people alone. Why do why does the New York City team have to tear the other teams down to build themselves up? Like, that is so shady. Okay, first of all, I was not tearing down the team. I was just pointing out they weren't on the same page. I, I didn't call them stupid, ugly, weird, or bad. Betty did. All I said was, we're on the same page. Okay, I, I'm, bitch, I'm not Betty. I was like, I was. All I said was, we're on the same page, and you guys aren't. You are the company. I'm not you responsible keep for Betty's actions. <laughs> I am, well, then, what does that say about you? All the same things you ever said about me, bitch. Bitch, back at you. Back the fuck at you, then, bitch. And I and I think that their shape idea is actually really dope. I think that their shape idea is really good. And we're, we're gonna get there later. But Thor, they, so they're all gonna do shapes: a, a triangle, a square, and a circle. And Thorgy later on comes out when y'all do in that triangle thing. I'm like, why didn't? 
that team get like did they give y'all shapes no thorgy just made that thing that was the thing that thorgy like made in the, in the oh. workroom i don't know so all of our all of our outfits were actually from the out of the closet um so i mean do you want do you want to jump into the, well so before no, we get no, the no, outfits no. because wait, wait, i want to talk I, about I, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I some more, some more stuff we yeah. can't because there, 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 there's a whole fucking moment where we're fucking trying to rehearse and thorgy is like Thorgy is Thorgying full time, full time <laughs> Thorgying, and um, Thorgy is very easily distracted. And Kim and uh, Kim specifically is like harassing Thorgy, no, harassing me by talking to Thorgy. So we're trying to like rehearse and and and, and write lyrics and stuff, and then Thorgy's like, ugh, ugh. she she does the ugh, she, like whenever she's like ugh and like a, uh, it's just like. You've been around Thorgy when she complains, right? Uh huh. The oh uh, and the uh, and like the and Thorgy loves complaining more than she wants her next breath. She wants to complain. I will, so she I starts will complaining. Admit, I would agree. Thorgy will complain about the sun rising in the morning. Thorgy will find something to, to complain about. It's kind of wild. Like I remember one. I remember one time we worked at uh, Lucky Chang's together. It was way pre drag race. And um, I was in a really good mood. And then Thorgy walked in and I said, hey, girl, how are you? And I had this big smile. She was like, oh, I just came in from Long Island <laughs> because I was visiting my family. And um, and I no, I think I, I didn't even say I say hi, Thorgy. That's why I said hi, Thorgy. And she goes, oh, I just came in from Long Island. I was visiting my family. I'm so tired and annoyed. And my nieces and nephews were there and they were like driving me crazy. And then I had to drive all the way back here. But I had to do my makeup in Long Island, which I didn't want to do. And she goes on for like 10 minutes. And I was like, I was like, bitch, I just, this is, wi-. anyway, she's, she's wild. She's wild. And she was driving, yeah. she was driving me nutty. And Kim was distracting her. And she kept being like, they don't like my ideas because I was trying to make the, the big black beans joke that me and Thorgy kept getting caught up on was the big black beans joke. So Thorgy didn't and like the, the joke? The joke is Thorgy didn't Thorgy didn't think it was she didn't get it. She kept saying she didn't. I was like, what do you mean you don't get it? A line down the block, we're serving big ba- big black beans. I was like, I don't honestly I, I without like I was like, okay, let's just make it vulgar for you, Thorgy. Block rhymes with cock, but I'm uh, you know, switch faking them out. I'm going to say beans in the end because I'm not actually being dirty. And Thorgy was like, I just don't get it. And I don't think it's funny. And of course, in the end, it got a big laugh. And they even were like, we love the line, big black beans. Yeah, it was it was a funny line. Uh, but, so there's authority is fucking up with, with y'all's group. And then Chi Chi. OK, if I was on Chi Chi's group, I would have been so annoyed at her. So Chi Chi. Is you know she so she wore her neon outfit in the la- like her, her runway outfit for this episode. She wore it last episode, yeah. and then so she is like freaking about not having about not having an outfit. And then so her group, Nisha, Derek, they're trying to get together, and and, and she's she's fully like, um, y'all work on this. I need to go over here and make an outfit. So like, she's not like joining the group. She's not really engaging with them, and that would be really. T- I would be like, girl, like this, you like you can't do that. That would be that would be very frustrating to me if I was in her group. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I actually don't know why she. Maybe she didn't bring a roller girl outfit. And I don't know why she uh, switched it out last minute, but I do remember the Chi Chi was sewing an outfit. She made an outfit like in the room. And the other team was kind of anno- obviously annoyed because they couldn't work together. And it did reflect poorly in the end. And there were times where Chi Chi would be like, well, bitch, if I'm in the bottom, I'm going to send you home because I'm an amazing lip syncer. And that was probably- So the other people I mean, in her group? That, yeah, she would, yeah, she would be like, well, you don't want to be in the bottom of me. <laughs> oh, girl, that is shady. And then, oh my God, I'd be like, bitch. Oh, I, I mean, and then we'll, 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 which we see later on, they fully just all go ham on each other when, when they find out they're in the bottom, like to ruin the judges. But yeah, I would have, I would have, I would have been like, no, bro. She left the group. She did not contributed any lyrics. And she's, I, but again, she did end up in the bottom, and she, well, we all know she won. But I would have, I would have done my best if I can get her ass together on the runway. But you know. She was like, you, she's like, you can gather me, but we'll both be in the bottom together, and you're going the fuck I'm home. Her, honestly, fully. Um, and then yeah, we, we see how yeah, girl, to talk. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> oh yeah, girl.
Apartments.com has helped millions of renters and could help you find your perfect place. Yep, I know, perfect is a very tall order, but if you're looking for an apartment or a condo, townhome, or even a house, maybe Apartments.com has all the right tools to help you find it. Use filters and save searches to narrow down rental listings and find exactly the place for you. You can even set up alerts to get notified as a place becomes available. So fashionistas, get your closet space or an in-unit washer, dryer, sun lever, find as much natural light as you can handle this thing. Get your glow on, get your sun on, get your tan on. If you're working from home, you can have an area for your at-home office, an extra bedroom, a balcony, central heating and air, a dishwasher in the kitchen, whatever happens to be right for you. This is the place to find at apartments.com, the place to find a place. We see y'all um, going to talk to, to rehearse with Lucian, and this is we get some like the iconic moment. So they're in the they're <laughs> <laughs> the New York City team is there talking to Lucian. And okay, and Lucian is there in the challenge to kind of guide y'all along and give y'all like references to help you guys like make it like the best to fit the challenge, right? So Lucian is throwing out examples. No. Like, want, I, what is he there That's for? That's not what's happening. Lucian was intentionally antagonizing. I'm telling you, Monet, I was there. Lucian was saying so? things to elicit a response and he got the response that he wanted. He'd be like, so we, we were... Our group is a spoof on the B-52s. It's specifically the B-52s. So we came in and we were doing this like um, uh, Love Shack type sound. You know when Love Shack, they go like, you see a faded sign on the side of the road and all the like the Love Shack. It's like, it's like very, very goofy. And he's like, you guys are just kind of being like, I don't know, cheesy. And like, it's just, it's just like, I don't know. And the notes were stuff like, I don't know. And notes like, well, just do it better. And, and I was like, and I remember, I don't remember, I remember saying stuff like, well, do it better is not a note. That's not a note. Do do better is not a note. There's, there's, there's nothing specific in that. So this is what did make the air is me being like, the, your notes aren't, your notes aren't notes. And then no matter what, and then as we're talking, as we're talking about party and the, he's like, you want to be more cool. And, I, and then I was like, I feel like that's not what this, this, style of music gives this is not laid back and cool it's very cheesy it's very ha ha hey it's very fun he was like i don't know be more like lord and i was like lord like do you even know what style of music we're doing you think I th lord does the beat 52s i don't think i don't think you're saying the lord does the beat 52s. i think you're saying that there especially at that time when when this was airing lord was like very she was like a cool artist lord was like one of the cool artists out there so i don't think you're saying mimic what lord does i think you're saying like and channel the coolness of of of, of, of lord's energy and i think in these challenges yes sometimes the judges give you like weird notes but i think it's more so like can you adapt and do it and like not and maybe not even follow it when y'all like figure out your own thing but can you do it for in this moment and the answer was no. That note does, <laughs> so, but Monet, in reality, does that note make if you're trying to do the B fifty two and he's like, do be like Lord. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. And I'm not I'm not playing this game with you. That that's a bad note. And I told him that. I know, but I mean again, I I think it was like to try to be cooler, which what which whatever that would mean to y'all. I said no. <laughs> I I was like, so, I, this is a bad note and I don't like it. So Bob is like, Lucian, your pussy stink. I don't like you. And then well, and then he's like, Lord, I fucking hate you. Your dick smell rotten. And then and then Thorgy and um Ash are looking at you like, not this bitch trying to literally send our group to the bottom. Like you were you were you were working. I also said, especially knowing that Lucian is a judge. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Nigga, you don't have no dominion over me. And then I and I would like to say, I did say I hate Lord. I do not hate Lord. I think what I was trying to say was what I was trying to say was I I I don't like apathy. And I don't want to appear apathetic. I don't want to be like an Avril Lavigne, Lord, cool girl type. And I feel like our our challenge was the exact opposite of that. So for the record, Lord, if you're listening, I don't hate Lord. I've never hated. Him. I've actually I actually really love the song Royals and um a lot of and not a lot of her work, but I love that song. And I thought Heron was a great <laughs> album. And I say I, um, I, I don't I don't like a lot of her work. What did you just say? I don't like a lot of her work. What did you just say? <laughs> well, I um, I almost lied and said what I almost did was I said I like what I initially said was I like Royals and a lot of her work, but that was a lie. So I redacted and I said, "Well, I love I love Royals." I don't want to lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. 
<laughs> bitch, can I tell you real quick? I just did um, Love It or Leave It, John, the John Love It podcast. Mm-hmm. And the entire time, I thought I was going to go see John Lovitz. The entire time. Do you know who John Lovett is? From Pod Save America? Yeah, but do you know who John Lovitz is? The cute guy, the actor. John Lovitz is from The Critic. He was he was this actor from The Critic. Like, type in type in your in your phone or your computer. L, John J O N L O V I T Z. I thought for a over a month, I thought I was going to go meet John Lovitz for oh, over yeah. a I know month. John Lovitz. I was like, I can't believe I'm going to go meet John Lovitz. Bitch, I got there. It was some guy named John Lovett who I have literally never heard yeah, of in America. my life. I was gagged. I was fully gagged um, when I got there. And I was like, and then he and I on, on stage, he was like, you thought I was John Lovitz. And I was like, yeah, girl, I did. And he was like, I don't know. It was, it was, it was very, it was, a, it was a very, the episode's out right now. Y'all want to go listen to it. It's a, uh, it's uh, it's like it's like called Pride Chaos or Pride Wrath or something. Go check it out. God. Is he gay? He's gay, yeah. Okay. He's on that he's podcast with John Favreau. John Favreau is so hot. And that's why that's his partner. And that's why I was confused because as I went to go see it, Jacob was like, John Lovitz is gay. And I was like, John Lovitz is not gay. And Jacob was like, John Lovett is gay. And I was like, I'm not crazy. When did John Lovitz come out? And Jacob was like, I don't know, but he's definitely gay. And I was like, this is the wildest news I've heard all day. This should have been a red J- flag. Anyway, John back Favreau to the challenge. Is gay? No, okay, that's the other thing. J- here's the other thing. John Lovett has a partner named John Favreau, but he's not John Favreau. <laughs> I, isn't this crazy? Look, John John Lovett has a partner whose name is John Farrow, but he's not. No, his his, his partner is Ronan Farrow. Oh, yeah, sorry. He has a partner named Ronan Farrow, (laughs) but he's not John Favreau. So there's Ronan Farrow, John Lovett, who's not John Lovett's, but he's dating Ronan Farrow, and you think it's John Favreau. (laughs) <laughs> Rona Farrow is a judge on All Star Season Seven. I'm just saying it's confusing because you get you get Ronan Farrow mixed with John Favreau, John Lovett confused with John Love. It's a it's a <laughs> closer too much. Let's get this back to the episode. Much. Let's get back to it. This is too much. Um, <laughs> so but that was their group, and then um, the other groups. Wait, real know- quick though, real quick. How do you take? How do you take? If, if the judges are giving you bad notes, how do you take it? What do you do with that? I'm trying to think of a challenge I've ever gotten bad notes in. Um, I remember one. The one where Alyssa Edwards was telling y'all to do all that crazy acting. Was that on your season? <laughs> yeah, when we did Farmer Roots ago, Alyssa Edwards was giving us act. And I, w- I, would, I would take her notes. But in the, in, in the end, I would just, I would because I think I have very strong performance, performance instinct. I would just do my thing. And I, I, in the moment, I'll be like, sure. When I would perform, i just do my thing. And it, 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 worked, it worked out for me. RT1. And and you know I would say and and, and, and girl, my thing is I'll just go big no. Girl. And my whole thing is in the moment I'm like I'm just not doing that note, and then I want to just do my thing, which maybe is not the <laughs> honestly, I did everything right. I, I'm happy with the way the season turned out, <laughs> and I'm happy with the way I turned out in that challenge, honey. Okay, okay, okay. When I, that, we, 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 listen, if you really want to review season 10, we can do it. I'm, I'm happy to do 10. Wait, we'll, hold we'll, on, let me we'll get my skip, charger. We'll skip over to 10. And no one else really has um, uh, anything else that goes on in the challenge. No, this is my episode for drama. This is where all my drama, mm-hmm. my skills as a very confrontational person arise for themselves. I want to say that during rehearsals, <laughs> me, Betty, and Thorgy were nailing it. And I remember being like, our choreography is so good. Our idea is so good. And these and our outfits, so the way these outfits work, we were all given the option to go over to the out of the closet, which is a thrift store uh, section. We didn't go to the actual out of the closet, but it was like a, a section over there where we can all go and basically shop through there for looks. Um, 
And me, Thorgy, and Betty are wearing all stuff from out of the closet. But what I did was, actually, fun fact about this shirt. It was just like a long shirt that went down. But I actually cut it into this um, this point shape in the front. And I just sewed it, like, stitched it real quick. And then I ended up giving this shirt to, um, to um, what's, what's their name? Drag King out of Chicago, who I love. Uh, and Tenderoni. Who? Tenderoni, yeah. I gave this. So Tenderoni has this. Tenderoni has this shirt now. I think I gave it to and Naomi. Us, and Naomi tell, gave and it to Tenderoni. And tell us about the wig. Tell us about the wig. And Monet, lend me this wig. You're r ridiculous. Monet, uh, Monet, lend me this wig before Drag Race. Yeah, she did. Monet, so you, if you do well in the challenge because your look was together, and bitch, I contributed to it. My drag made your Wait, look. Wait, did I? Wait, did I do well or did I not do well? Because second go, you said I, we weren't. I said you did well. I never, I never said you didn't do well. I said in the challenge. I, I said in the, in the, in the rehearsal with Lucian, uh, he was asking for something. I, I never said you did not do well in the challenge. Anyway, bitch, let's, I'm let's, a let, let, bitch, I'm a skirt. Bitch, I'm a skirt from Scotland. Bitch, I killed this shit. All right, let's keep it moving, <laughs> let's, honey. Let's talk, let's talk about uh, uh, what was your name? We were street meets. Street meets. Um, I thought Shirmis was. I thought I thought you guys were really good. I thought the the choreo was very good. I thought you guys looked really well. I do agree. Acid was the strong was the weakest look in all of y'all. And Thor, in, in my opinion, Thorgy had the best look. Thorgy looked really dope. Having that fucking hat, having like the like I I, I love Thorgy's look the most. Second yours, Acid was not even close to y'all in comparison. But over y'all, y'all were really funny. The black beans line was very funny as well. And um, y'all put comedy into, really... into the group. I thought it was good. I really like Betty's look. Too. If if if, I, if I'm being fully honest, I actually think that Acid Betty should have won this challenge. I thought that Acid Betty was kind of the glue that was actually keeping our group together when me and Thorgy were arguing, oh, no. and me and Lucian were arguing. Betty was actually keeping us going. Um, all of us contributed pretty evenly to the choreography. We picked it up very very quickly. I think we had the best choreography, and I honestly would have given this challenge win to. Um, Acid Betty on top of, and that on top of that her her runway was really really fucking strong, so I I actually would have given this win to to Betty. Well, as of for the whole watching, for the whole episode, as if you're watching, I did not get all the stuff that you said that Acid Betty did. I mean, she she was everyone was good in your group, but her look looked like it was from like the it was like a mixture of like someone in their fifties who like did, who did a little acid. It, it, it didn't match y'all. Like you and Thorgy felt 80s. Acid did not feel 80s at all to, to me. And then when it came to the chicken wings, I will say theirs, because theirs was punk, like they really leaned into the, leaned, leaned into the punk thing. And Robbie, and because Robbie Turner was the lead in that, she she really shined a lot through. Kim Kim was a little offbeat in, this, in some of the shit she was in, in some of her um, in some of her lyrics. Like she got like a Kim's little always offbeat. Beat. I was like, not give it off beat. But overall, the punk thing, and also when Robbie took that water into mouth and spit it out at the end, it it it, it made it super dope. Like it, they felt very cool. I I really like Lord. I really um also love the way that um Kim looks when she wears like human hair, or, like not human hair, human colored hair. Like when Kim looks like a, because Kim was always doing this like these pinks and brights and blues and pastels the true pastel princess deja sky um and then whenever kim dresses like a human being i think she looks really cool and she looks really really cool i think she looks great here yeah and, and naomi look hot as usual with those high ass fucking platform shoes and um yeah i think i think they, they really nailed punk and it like they definitely like hit that home for sure now the the uh the 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 geometry girls of the world Girl. um uh these looks are not great. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, I think what's wrong about, about nature that she's not really a, like her circle's not a, the circle ain't circling. It's 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 like hexagon or like, octagon. Like a, a hexagon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. More, yeah. I would say it, Derek it, looked really it looked, good. It looked like a stop sign. <laughs> Derek looks really good. I I thought I thought Nasha looked the best. Really? Yeah, I like that hair, that like feathered out hair. I also love Chi Chi's hair as well. 
Um, oh, yeah, but I just here was love really cool. these looks. I and her makeup was really cool this episode too. I don't love love these looks, but it might just be a stylistic thing. It might just be like I just don't love this era. Maybe that's what it is. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but their geometry was by far the worst. And both of the other teams, the chicken wings and street meats, y'all were good. There's a case to be made for both. But I would say Robbie's like punk shit was really dope. Like when she like spit, I forgot to spit that water out. I was like the nerve. I would never do that. I would feel like oh my god, I'm sorry. I don't want to spit on y'all. So I thought that was dope. It was a cool move, and I did love a uh, buyer vinyl in the back. It was a cute little line as well. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And and and, and uh, did you all notice that the, the Vivian is in the audience? Yeah, I know. I was like right after y'all's group. The camera pans to her. Yeah, your 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 UK sister. I mean, your UK sister. Your uh, your season All Star Seven sister is in there, and uh, there's a footage somewhere of her actually working in the runway. Like she walked the runway that day as well, because she used to be. She was like the UK ambassador to right. Drag Race. It was like right, and um, so she got she got she got flewed out to come watch an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Economy. And Vivian is sitting right there, though. Sitting right there in the audience. Um, it, honestly, it was predetermined for her from the beginning. I'm just kidding. And looking great too. Like she, it was, it was just a profile picture, but her makeup looked like it was sitting. Her hair looked great. Like she was polished even back then. And I'm, we're not talking about it, but as a total side note, the Vivian's Dolly Parton bitch was Dolly Parton. She looked like Dolly Parton. I was gagged. Bob, when the, when she got into when she was painting in the workroom, and I saw her get into drag, I was like. This is insane. She she looked exactly like Dolly. That was not any prosthetics. That's just her. Like that's just just her no, painting, doing the shadows and stuff. It's crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, I was I was shook. Anyway, back to season eight. Um, so let's talk about these uh these runways. The category is neon, 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 neon. RuPaul now looks I, so I got cute. into a moment. Um, RuPaul is r- really great, and if you all want to uh, clock my um, copycat ass in a few episodes when I am panicking because my outfit busted up and I couldn't my zipper fell off the handle, I literally just remade what RuPaul's wearing in white lace. So check me out in a few episodes in the Wizard of Oz challenge, and I literally just remade. I just made myself a peplum cat suit with no sleeves, but I think I did a scoop neck instead. So clock that. <laughs> Clock the hair, clock the mug. Uh, shall we get into the looks? Um, we talk about these looks. Yeah, let's talk about let's Dar- do it. Let's go with Derek Barry. Barry. Uh, this is cute. This is probably Marco Marco, huh? It looks very Marco Marco um, reminiscent. Mm-hmm. No, I think her. I think her boyfriend hand painted this. I feel like I remember oh. her telling me that. I might have made that up, but I feel like I remember her telling me that her boyfriend hand painted this. And I don't love the skirt. Because right. it just Agreed. that that material just doesn't fall. It doesn't fall in a nice way at all. And when you take that away, she's just wearing Leah's heart. You know? Yeah. And with this hair and that and, uh, it was giving she was very strong uh when she walked out. Like in the arms? What do you mean? Like in her face. Like the way she painted her face today, she just it wasn't very soft and it just didn't look soft work um okay this picture does not do any justice to how good nasha lopez looked in this outfit nasha oh, lopez the of the night. looked completely stunning this look was amazing i maybe would have done different hair i think she could have oh, she could have stood to do some different hair i would have done like a neon ponytail like like a like a bright yellow or orange ponytail coming off the top as opposed to this just it just kind of looks like a bunch of hair just sitting on top of her head, kind of to me. And it, it, then when she did her cartwheel later on, you find out that that's exactly what it was. A, b- a, bunch, <laughs> a bunch of hair just sitting on her head. Um, I, I would have done different hair. Like the, neon the, hair shoes. the hair seems understated. Neon shoes would have been cool too. I would say drag queens will do a whole look and then and then last minute gra- just grab a random ass pair of shoes. Dra- drag queens yeah. will consider every every detail and then forget the fucking shoe but also in our defense sometimes it's hard to get shoes in our size so we take what we can get you know what i mean 
No, Nisha got them small ass feet. Nisha got like some some. I can go to the store and get shoes. She ain't she ain't walking out with some rope stompers like you and me. Wow, drag Nisha Lopez and her tight. Let's talk about lazy Chichi ass. The... No, no getting shoes ass. <laughs> <laughs> Chichi Devane. So Chichi Devane made this leotard in the workroom. She made. Did she have the riding crop, or she, or she made that there too? I don't know. I think maybe it was a prop. Maybe she found it somewhere. I mean, this look actually isn't bad, especially because that it's she not. made it there. And some for for some reason, the no padding works with this look and her it did. body it in this good. moment. It, yeah, something about it. It is very plain, and also her uh, her uh, bracelets are made of duct tape. Her braces are just duct tape. Oh, work. Yeah, she better. She, girl, Chichi was, she was Monique Hart in it. She was, she was making it as she went <laughs> along, girl, creating it on the on the fly. This thing on the fly. She better. Um, that was good. Let's go to Kim Chi. Kim Chi is doing a um a a Picasso. Is that Picasso? Yeah, I like I it. Know. Picasso. I um, do not I like this look. Good. <laughs> Kim's. Well, are you being really like, You like Kim's look? I like the I like how graphic the makeup is, and I like the feather on her hair. Um, I maybe I would I'll do something different with the bodysuit and the cape, but I love I love the concept of it. So you don't so so you mean so you mean the <laughs> outfit? <laughs> it's like I do like that I I like that feather and I like that part of her makeup, but I don't like everything from the neck down. So you hate the entire you don't like the whole outfit. You are okay, wild. I, think, I think what it is, I think what it is is the cape. I don't get the cape. Or the cat or like I mean it's how, the cat suit. I, Bitch, I, I, Matt, you are a robot cat suit last episode. I don't, it's, I don't think it's the cat suit. I think it's how much pink cape there is. If she just did this green bodysuit without the cape, I, I probably would like it more. You know what it is? Is her face is graphic and her and her garment is not. Her garment should Maybe have been some it. iteration. Like, if you're going to go Picasso, go full Picasso. If you're going to be a Picasso, yeah. then, bitch, be a Picasso from head to toe. It's like she had a Picasso face and then, like, a a, a Monet Exchange cat suit and then a Magician's cape and then a Yankee <laughs> Duty Dandle, a Yankee Duty Dandle feather in her head. You know what I mean? <laughs> she stuck a feather in her hat and she called it macaroni. Macaroni. And she's... <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's talk about Robbie Turner. Okay, I don't. I mean, I guess she's obviously in a period, but I just don't. I mean, and I guess it's cool to flip neon into this period style clothing, but I'm just like, uh, okay, sure. Yeah, she just took an outfit that, um, like a different, completely different thing, and just it just made it neon. Which, which I guess that's a Seattle thing. Did, what what did know, Jinx do this with? Jinx. Jinx did this in her what club she, principle. she took leather and she made it into like a period Yeah. Dress. So, and I also, mean. also, fun fact about this. Robbie, Robbie Turner, she she fully dyed this outfit herself too as well. Yeah, each each part a different color. Honestly, gag. Mm -hmm. um, this look is fine. I, it doesn't look It doesn't look bad. It is It is an interesting yeah. concept. On I've, on I've never seen a neon version of this outfit. This wig is yeah. so bad, though. It's hideous. Not the hard front. So bad. Um, our girl uh, Naomi Smalls. This is this episode. This, this shoe is the season. what they're. This shoe is what they're talking about when they say the. And I love my girl Naomi Smalls, but you know, you know, y'all, y'all got the term cliffhanger is like haunts her to this day. Like it haunts oh, yeah. her to this day. Y'all got to stop calling my girl Cliff. But but also in this picture, it is truly the toes are truly creeping over the edge of the shoe. I mean, are, are they not? Here's the thing with cliffhangers. Lie? Here's, the thing, here's the thing with cliffhangers, though. Like, even it's, it's two reasons. I think the shoe is too big or too small. Because if you're because if it's the right size shoe, sometimes when you have those loose side heels and a, and a lot of the loose side shoes, because it stretches over time, your feet just slide forward and then you have to grip. Like it's just kind of how loose side shoes work. And they're a drag queen stable. That's why but queens who normally wear them don't pop, don't always put their, their their toes out. But that's what happens with the loose side shoes, girl. That is a drag queen thing. Period. That's why I don't wear any the, the that's why you know I don't own any loose side shoes. I I almost I exclusively either. wear wear closed toe shoes. I also don't show my toe my my I don't show my toes in drag. Pretty much ever. I'm will. sure now someone's gonna. You will soon. 
you do gonna do it on St. Robert's. Come to St. Robert's tour where I'm getting Bob in some open toed shoes. We're gonna get his him have a nice pedicure. He's gonna be living open toed. He's gonna be an open toed girl, an open toed girl. Why do you want me to open toed shoes so bad? I don't get it. Because I want Pumps you look so classy. I've done so many things for you. I've done a lot of things for you. You can do one thing for me in your fucking career. Yeah, one thing. I've never done anything for you. <laughs> you are really a piece of work today. <laughs> but Naomi Small's outfit is absolutely stunning. She looks so okay. good. I love, love this hair. This is what I meant by neon hair. Like, if Na if Naisha had something like this, instead, because it seemed like she had this really nice neon moment with some domestic hair, and um, not Naomi domestic Smalls hair. went full Not domestic neon. hair. You, that is, not domestic hair. That is so rude and shady and nasty to say about somebody. Not domestic hair. Let's go on to Acid Betty. I so cool. love this look. So cool. One of the best looks of the season. Honestly, oh. and y'all, I don't know if y'all can remember the hair. The hair was, was these boxes with yeah. carabiners clipped to each. So it was like. Oh, really? A, 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 yeah, it was like a box of hair. And then, like, a carabiner clip to the next box, like, this chain going down. It looked really, re wow. I remember being like, this is so fucking cool. This look is amazing. This acid trip is all real, girl. Yeah, this is really, she's like a, she's like a neon acid fish guppy space worm. It was really cool. Yeah. Good for her. This is great. Uh, yeah, Thorgy Thor. I want you to look it's at Thorgy's, look at Thorgy's right hand. That bracelet, I'm telling you, Thorgy has. I've since oh. I've known Thorgy, she's had this bracelet. Mm -hmm. This bracelet has been on. I, I think to her both her seasons of Drag Race. It was mm -hmm. on an entire season of First First Impressions. This 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 thing has been um all been around the world, uh conducting yeah, yeah, yeah. uh orchestras. This bracelet is the and not, and not the plungery one, the one that the one that's like it's like a little triangle on her right hand. Anyway, fun yeah. fact about this dress. We we're backstage, and I said, um, "So who, this is a cute dress." And she goes, "Domino Couture made it." And I said, "Domino Couture makes dresses." I thought Domino just did hair, and she goes, "No, Domino Couture made this dress for me. This is, this is a, this is a Domino." And I was like, "Who fucking knew?" And she's like, "You gotta use Domino." So Dorji really introduced Domino to all the drag queens. So all the queens, all of us, I mean, I know, I knew Domino through uh, Perfidia. So I already knew Domino, but I knew Domino because he was working in the wig department at Hedwig. Right. I had no clue that Domino made clothes. And Domino is a, Domino is now my designer and we're here. I have, I have, I think I have, I might have the, outside of Domino herself, I might have the largest Domino collection. I don't think that's true. Domino's made me, say, maybe. For all my three seasons of Drag Race, I don't know if over over twenty looks. Bob, I have a lot. I, I've done three seasons oh, of Drag wait, Race. No, what, I, what I was saying and was many things outside of Drag Race. I'm, we 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 may rival each other in our Domino collections. We have to bear in mind that I have done three seasons of We're Here, and okay. every episode Domino makes and okay, and every episode Domino makes me two to three outfits every single episode. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, you're. Out of control. Let's move. But what do you think of Thorgy's look? And, and that, uh, the, the dress, the dress is fine. What? What's going on? I have the numbers. Um, on All Stars four, Monet had five Domino looks, and on season ten, Monet had three Domino looks. Not eight Domino looks. All right. Can no, you so even, all right. Um, go ahead. What do you real quick while while Jake was doing that? What do you, I mean? I like I like Thorgy's dress. But she did too much on the face. She needed to. She yeah. really needed to edit. Yeah, I think ed, ed, the edit would have been her best friend. I don't think she needed. I don't think she needed. She should have chopped the 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 black things because first of all, it's not even giving her the graphic look that she's trying to go for. Um, so I think she could, she should have chopped that. And maybe the green things were too wild as well. And she has going down her arms. Yeah, I think she just she she tried to do too much. And is her hand green? Why she paint her hand green? She was I don't know. She she had too many ideas. Too many ideas. She really needed to chill out, in my opinion. Yeah, she did she she, she yeah. did too much. And then I um 
And then uh, what's the name got on to me? Because she was like, this is not neon. And I was like, this is day glow. Like when I put it under neon lights, it glows. But it wasn't neon enough for uh, Michelle Visage. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I saw the fabric and it is a glow, but it does not look neon. Like everyone else is like neon and you're the only one who's like, you're like in a suggestion of neon. And also, this is before you had the pink. So you clearly, how did the pink thing happen? Because it's not in your picture here. Yeah. So, you know, when you're on Drag Race, you take pictures and then you head over to the, you, everyone, as they get ready, you go over and you take a picture with the photographer. This lady, I don't know if she's there, but she kind of looks like Meryl Streep, actually. She used she um, used to be. She, she's not there. She she left season season 10. Well, season 10 was the last one because she wasn't there for All Stars 4. She looks like Meryl Streep, doesn't she? <laughs> a little bit. Like, like Meryl Streep and like Mamma Mia. Street. So um, I went over to get my picture taken. But then when I got back, I was like, I need to do something else. Because if you notice, I'm also, I don't think I'm wearing the necklace that I am wearing. The, I'm not wearing the necklace in this shot either. So you are. I, am I, that necklace, am I wearing the necklace? Oh, the necklace is actually made by, so the necklace was, was metal, was like metallic looking. And I actually, there I covered it in tape to make it more neon. And I covered, the, those are wood earrings that I also wrapped in uh, tape to make neon as well. And then I had this paint from when I was painting the car. The paint was mm. from when I was painting the car that I was going to use in the last episode. And I was like, should I just pour this on my head? And they were like, yeah, girl. So I just, I just literally just squirted it out of the bottle and like let it roll down my head and, and, and like a Lee Bowery inspired moment before uh, hitting the runway. Yeah, I love I, And I, I actually I had this idea backstage. I remember being like, if I'm in the bottom, I had I had paint I had uh paint in my titties, and I was gonna pull the paint out and just start squirting it all over my face, and like in my mouth. Oh, I was God. like, I'm not going home. But I, I ended up not being in the boat. I, I had a plan. I was like, I got a crazy plan for this lip sync. Yeah, I like the, I like the silhouette of it. I like how it's in the middle. I just wish it was more neon, especially when you added the uh, the necklace and the earrings that are like so bright yellow neon. Your outfit just kind of looks yellow. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, I, I I would try, probably try to re-execute this outfit these days. I think this is made by Chris Haynes. Mm -hmm. um, I would try to re-execute the outfit these days, uh, just knowing more that I know. And they're actually pants. It's not a skirt. It's, it's a big pair of Palazzo pants. And he's um, the same guy who made my, yeah, uh, I, I, my chaps look, if you guys want to know. I thought your chaps were made by Domino. No, Chris Haynes made my chaps look. With the motocross look? No, bitch. My season ten, my di my 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 diamond, my denim chaps. Uh, what was the category when you wore the motocross boots? Yeah, boots the house down. Got it. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think that um, this um, it's not it's not my best look to be honest. It's not my best look. Um, and then we get to the judge of critiques and bitch, when I tell you, Chi Chi Devane is selling her team down the river, girl. She is dragging them. She is like, they suck. She was like, she was like, I don't like working with these girls. Like she is going in. I was like, I was gagged. I was like, oh my God, Chi Chi, down, down. Well, I was think, it that I think Chi Chi was nervous. Uh, yeah. I think Chi Chi was also nervous. They were going to sell her down the river. So she mm. was like annoyed by them, and they, they their team was they they were not in, they were not in, in a good place. They were all it was it was very contentious over over at the Geometry Girls. Word. And in the lip sync, for sure, Nasha Lopez is just what is wrong with girls in your season? Girls in your season when they lip sync, first of all, she does she immediately as soon as the song starts loses her shoes, like she just takes her shoes off, and now she's just dancing she barefoot. Yeah, she kicked. Yeah, she kicked them off. Even I was like, "Girl, like, what is this going on in season eight? And then she's like trying to cartwheel, and then she does one cartwheel, and she does, and but she kind of does like a no. It's a somersault when you do a cartwheel, but you land on both your feet. But she does that crunchily, and then she does it again, and then her it's wig starts to fall off. off, and she starts to like a round off, and then she starts to like take, she takes, she starts to swing in the wig and throws it off. I was like, this looks nutty. This looks so crazy. I think that she was just desperate because everyone knows what Chi Chi can do. Um, and I mean, once she, Chi Chi, when I say she ate, I mean, the when she started fucking hitting these flips and like 
And also, Chi Chi's a great lip singer, not just like because of her tricks, but like down later on in the season when she sends home Thorgy, we realize she's just a great fucking Bob, lip singer. Spoilers. In general. Like Chi Chi. Oh, I'm like, sorry, guys. But um, Chi Chi is just a great lip singer. And everyone was afraid to be in the bottom with her. So if you did poorly in a week where Chi Chi also did poorly, you were nervous as hell. You would hope that if you were doing poorly, Chi Chi was doing well, so you don't end up in the bottom with her because she's she was just insane. Like she's a a brilliant lip sync artist. She was a brilliant lip sync yeah. artist. Um, and the moment the shoes came off, we were all like, "Everybody say goodbye to Nasha again." Everyone say goodbye to Nasha. Everyone say goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, that was wild. That was wild. Wild. But at least she went home in a really nice outfit. Yeah, she did. She looks very cute going home. Damn. And that is uh, episode four of season eight. Wow, we're like halfway through your season already. This is crazy. Girl, shortest season <laughs> in the history of Drag Race. <laughs> shortest season, season in the history of Drag Race. <laughs> is that wild? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It's really crazy. Do you have any fond memories of this episode or like anything? I like the live singing. I really like live singing challenges when you like. You no, I mean like, like when you life. were like watching it in real time, like when you were watching it in real time in New York City. Do you have any memories of being like? Because I mean, so uh, here's a little secret about about me on Drag Race, y'all. I didn't. I did not tell anyone. I was. I was. I, I don't fuck around about NDAs. I did not tell. I, I did not tell anyone how I did, how far I went. I didn't do. I didn't give any spoilers of any episodes. I didn't say what I did. The people who helped me prepare, they knew what I was going to wear on certain challenges. But when I got back, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but I was very tight. Look, um, you did not tell anyone. You, you. I mean, you didn't even really tell your closest friends you're going. You were just like, I'm going away on a cruise. We all knew what a cruise was. You never, you never you were all, like, I'm going on drag. You all knew what it was, now. yeah. Yeah, because now bitches be having like everybody in the house, like twenty nine people at home. Like, yeah, we're we're we're, we're getting we're, we're getting um Ashley ready for Drag Race. Ashley the drag queen, she's gonna fucking slay, and she she's gonna wear this on like the sewing challenge, and on this challenge she's gonna wear. I'm like everyone be knowing, literally. It's Hashtag, crazy we're now. Gonna, hey everyone, go. We're going live. We're we're getting um <laughs> you know Dusty Red Bottoms is getting ready for Drag Race. We're going live right now because she's leaving in a week. So this is really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> it, be, it be that. It be that. And even when I got back, I didn't tell anyone. I remember even even me and Mitch were doing purse first. I got back and I said, I'm back from summer camp and I got I'm back from a cruise, and we got to do a song called Purse First. Don't ask me why. We just got to do a song called Purse First. Yeah. Oh, Roberta. And the rest is her story. I'm trying to think if I have any other specific memories from this episode that really stuck out in my mind. Um, but I just remember this this was the episode where I learned about... Uh, honestly, my biggest takeaway from this episode was this one where I learned about Domino Couture, who is now um, one of my favorite designers uh, that I that I work with. You know, we, we work very, very closely on We're Here. Um, Domino is turning me out for season three of We're Here. I cannot wait for you all to see the uh, oh yeah you, so you just wore, you just you just showed me an outfit that you wore open toed shoes in so you why you don't wear open toed shoes you do wear open toed shoes what outfit i mean i own a few pair of open toes but not but it's like a little peep toe it's like it's, it's like a literally a, a tiny it's not little a peep toe. toe the gold one is not a peep toe what are you talking about whole, four four of your toes are out the gold one you wore at the boob look and then you have the gold pair you wore with the yeah. um the rock. It's look. the same pair of shoes. No, yeah. I, 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 okay, I'm gonna reiterate. I, I said almost never. I'm, and then I said someone's gonna drum up an old picture, old random picture. I mean, in a, in a. When they first of all sit there on your fucking pixelated ass fucking camera, you, you film with a fucking potato, bitch. Before comment, you start dragging comment below, people. Comment Honey. below if y'all if y'all want me if y'all want me to release the unseen season three rear hair footage of Bob and Open's issue. Comment below if you want me to do that. I'll put it on on a Patreon. And comment below. If you want me to, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, go ahead. Uh, go ahead expose what? Monet with her cheat with with her cheating ass with this random man running <laughs> around her house. <laughs> if you want me to expose Roberta, Monet the I cheater, hope a, I hope you have a good rest of your day. <laughs> this is three sh in my entire closet of, sh and I have a closet of shoes. This is okay, thank you, all, Jacob. Say, you said you had none. I want to point out these two are peep toes. None. These are peep toes. These are peep toes. They're still open toes. This is my only like full toe. open toe. I'm like, y'all are wild. Bitch, wrap the episode, bitch. Wrap the episode. <laughs> Say your last little bits, bitch. 
I'm giving you the last <laughs> you know, word. You're welcome. Say your last little this bit. Is, this is this is our podcast. I know you think that sometimes you think it's yours. It's ours. Wait, wait. You're the one that I. You're the one that I made you watch season eight. So once you do your little 1080p introduction, your little 720p introduction, outro. <laughs> <laughs> you are so ridiculous. Anyway. You little 720p uh, outro. I have to say, I really want to thank y'all. for Y'all really listening. A lot of people went and commented on and left us some really lovely reviews. We really mean it. And if you can, if you for, didn't hear it last week and you're sticking around to this far in this episode this week, go ahead and leave us um, some reviews on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Because Spotify, you can comment now too and leave reviews there. We really, really appreciate it because it helps us out. Oh. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.